Sorry, me lovers. Right, if you remember, I did these hard gel nails, uh, I don't know, a week or so ago. And I'm going to change the shape and do an infill and redesign. So I'm changing them to um, a stiletto pointy almondy shape. So I'm just taking my 100 180 grit file and I mean gel is so easy to file. So I'm just gonna file down the sides and change the shape a little bit and then I'll remove the bulk with the e-file. I've kept a bit of the footage of the filing in, not all of it because well you'd be smashing your head against the desks with boredom. But, and it's also really awkward filing at this angle because I'm like right away from where I can see. So <laughs> it was really weird doing it like this. But I know some of you have asked me to show some of the filing. So when I do it like that, I want to keep my file um, upright against the edges and make sure that I'm bringing those edges in nice and sharp and then I'll take the bulk off and reshape. So I've started showing you a bit here but my fingers are super bendy like they, they're double jointed so it's very uncomfortable for me to do it like this. I have to hold them in very strange um, angles in order to stop them popping out of joint. <laughs> I don't think you want to see that. So I'll file and come back and then show you um, just removing the gel from one of the nails. So I'm using my file from Femme Fatale Nails. I'll put the link in the description box below, very reasonably priced. And the bit that I'm using is my medium safety bit from Nail Dot Supplies. And it's just chewing through that. I mean, what I've noticed is you don't get the hot spot. I didn't get any hot spots or anything filing hard gel as opposed to acrylic. Sometimes I get a little bit of that owie because I go too hard on myself. But yes, anyway, super easy to file, but very dusty. So these are all filed and super thin, as you can see. And now we're gonna just tidy up those cuticles because they're very dry. So I'm using my Navy Professional tool. It's called Ethel. This, I mean, I speak about this all the time, but this tool is amazing for cuticle work. And it really does get any junk off of the nail, which by junk, I mean, non-living tissue that needs to be removed because if you leave it on the nail it will affect the adhesion of your nail enhancements or gel anything you're putting on your nails if you want it to stick you need to make sure that there's nothing like this on the nail so even if you're using stick on nails like I did a, a video last year on using sort of glue on and stick on nails press on nails glue on nails all the same works the same and um, yeah, you, bait, you need to prep your nails for any type of, of enhancement on them. After that, I will um, get rid of all the dust and then rub them over with isopropyl alcohol, which I'm doing here. So I'm just making sure there's nothing on the surface. So I'm going in with Young Nails Protein Bond. I'll do two coats of this. You, you can just put it on the regrowth but I didn't have much regrowth I just wanted a change of shape and a change of design so I've just put it on the whole nail because you can do that too which is fine I love this stuff I didn't have any lifting on my gel or anything like that I've only had them on for just over a week but I mean I'm quite brutal with my nails I'll be honest so after I've done that, I'm going to go in with Young Nails Base and do a thin layer and that's really to create that sticky layer for everything else to adhere to. And then you can see what I was trying to do in a minute, I'll explain it to you and I'll explain how I started off with one idea because somebody has suggested um, applying glitter to the tacky layer after it's cured. And I was like, yeah, that does seem, I mean, that's what I would do with a gel polish, for example. Um, so I thought maybe that, maybe I'll try that way. And basically, um, I'll explain it when you see it. You'll get it when you see it. It's funny. But yeah, I need a new gel brush. I really do. This one is my MIG Nails brush, I think. And uh, it's, it's seen better days. But I do love how easy the Young Nails system is to work with. I haven't really tried, I've tried MIG Nails gel, I, was, I didn't really enjoy that as much. It wasn't self-leveling, so 
or certainly some of the other stuff wasn't. So I'm going in with Glitter Planet Hotline Bling. Guys, this will blow your mind. I'm not even lying. This is intense. It's so hollow. So I'm pressing it into the tacky layer and that was my plan. It wasn't really sticking as well as I wanted it to, but I persevered and kept patting it in and patting it in. I also need to get some more trays because I've lost my trays. I've got half the stuff at the salon and half the stuff at home. So I'm popping that on there. And then I thought, well, what I'll do now, now it's stuck down, I will cap it to hold it in place. So I went in with the Builder Gel, which is a very um, light viscosity, it's not very heavy. And basically the gel, the, the glitter wouldn't stay put. It started moving around and I was like, okay, I'm not going to play chase the glitter around the nail. So I'm just going to pop this Builder Gel on, doesn't matter if it moves the glitter around. And I'm then going to press some glitter into it before I cure it because it worked well that way last time. So basically I'm mixing the glitter with the gel on the nail and not really caring because I'm going to cap it anyway and it's still very thin. So then I got more glitter and pressed it into that layer before I had cured it. And I got a beautiful coverage that way. So that worked for me. I tried it the other way. For whatever reason, it just didn't work for me. This way really did work for me. And you'll see I got a beautiful coverage and the hol holographic um, effect on this glitter is, is so intense. I mean, it's absolutely stunning. So then I cured it. And it was literally just to freeze it in place. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use the Builder Gel to go over every nail because the other nails are having gel polish on. So I lay down a slip layer, which is just a thin layer so that when you apply the bulk of the product, it glides easily on the nail. That was a technique I, I learned from watching Selena Ryden actually, who is like the princess of nails with gel. I love, I love her work. And then I'm just building the bulk, the apex, and then side by side, just pillowing the product down to the free edge. And then just making sure I've got the shape I want. And when I'm happy with that, I'll just quickly freeze it in the lamp. On to the next one. Again, thin slip layer down, just to give the product something to bulk to, um, sit with nicely. Bulk to? What was I saying? Hello? You know what I mean anyway. One thing I love working with gel and glitter is because the clarity is just insane. And then we're going and we'll build the shape, build the apex, all that good stuff. So you guys asked for more gel nails. Now, I mean, I haven't really got into gel nails since I, since I qualified, which is like five years ago. I just kept doing acrylic. So I'm getting back on the gel wagon as well. So if you have anything you want me to do with gel nails, let me know. I, I am really open to try anything. And for me, I'm learning new skills as I go and I'm testing things out as I go, so it's great. So I'll always have one hand gel and one hand acrylic, <laughs> both with different designs. <laughs> so here, I just I did get in a bit of a pickle. I put too much on and I was like, Ugh! It's annoying me. So I was just getting rid of part of it there. And I built up the other nails exactly the same. I'm just adding a little bit more at the apex because I felt it wasn't quite there. And then just dragging it to the tip so that it all joins in and levels out nicely. And then I tip my finger over briefly and then freeze it in the lamp so it doesn't move. And the same with the rest of the fingers. Slip layer, build up the shape and then freeze it in the lamp and then once they're all done I'll do a proper cure. This is incredibly easy to work with this gel. I know there are lots of other brands out there and I do want, want to try so many different things. Of course I do. Um, it's just 
well, I suppose it's choosing what to try and what, what I want really, but I am really enjoying this, the Young Nails system I must say, really enjoying it, it's very well thought out and really good quality. So I've just applied base coat to each of the nails now, so they've been cured, and I'm applying Laguna Moon base coat, which is just a gel polish company. I think I did a review on them a few months back, and I ended up purchasing more products myself. So they sent me some, I liked them, I bought a bunch more. <laughs> so this is actually from their Cat Eye Polish collection. I'm not going to use the Cat Eye magnet though, I'm just going to keep them as is. In fact, I'm going to make them matte, because I wanted a matte blue with a bright hollow silver. I would have liked a deeper blue, but this was the only blue I had. But this would go really well with a deep, rich blue. Oh, and there's a post lady at the door. Oh, I'm so excited. That was the post lady, and I have a package from the Unicorn's Den. I've got some stuff to show you guys. Anyway, let's get back to these. This polish is from Laguna Moon. As I said, I purchased this myself. I did get sent some bits earlier on in the year to review and I, li I liked it so I bought some more. I'm not using the cat eye magnet with this. I'm going to use it a matte top coat as well instead. So I've done two coats and now I'm just applying my matte top coat, which I'll admit, it's not the best. I've had it for a while. It's just a cheap one. I think that because I spent so long off work, I started buying lower quality products back then and some of them are just still lingering around and this is one of them. You know what it's like when you do nails, you're literally addicted to nails, it's just if you fall sick and you've got to take a long time off work, you tend to just buy cheap because you're putting them on your own nails and that's sort of what I did. So yeah. Okay, I'm going in now with the Young Nails Shine Top Coat on this nail. Oh my god. I'm so sorry I didn't get it perfectly in shot because this was like a oh, moment where my soul was just lit up with hollow. And it's so, so beautiful. It does come back in shot, don't worry, do not fear, don't run off and get upset. There you go. And this is the finished uh, set, half set. And I also put a video at the end um, when I was having breakfast this morning with my torch on because it was just, the hollow was hitting me straight in the face. I hope you've enjoyed this. Again, let me know if there's anything else you want to see and I will see you in my next video. Tally bye!